So sometimes you're going to see situations where they're going to mention a couple vectors. Um, they may keep it even generic and not even give you particular uh, physical units. They may just say, hey, we have vector A, it's three units long, and vector B, it's four units long, and they are acting in the positive uh, X and positive Y direction. So you don't have to use north, east, south, and west. You can just use plus X, plus Y, and, and the coordinate system um, as you would a math class. Um, but sometimes you'll get statements like this. What's the resultant of of that? What's the resultant of 2a plus b? Now, you're not going to say, like algebra, you're not going to say 2 times 3 is 6 plus 4 is 10. That's not the answer. That's not what they're asking. You can't do that. You can't do that because these vectors are not in the same direction. Um, by the way, I should make mention, um, even in all the previous problems, you can only add vectors if they are adding the same unit. Right? You can only add meters with meters with meters. You can only add newtons with newtons with newtons. You cannot add newtons and meters. Even though they're both vectors, you, just, you can't add them. They don't match. And that's just a rule of math. You can't add things that are not alike or the same unit. Um, in this particular case, they're using multipliers uh, to a vector. And I mean, it's all this is really saying is, hey, double A. And when you, when you use a multiplier to a vector, it only changes the magnitude. It doesn't change the direction. So in this particular case, um, and again, we're using red arrows, um, we would take, and I'm not going to use the rule or a protractor uh, for this particular set of examples. I, I mean, I should. And you should be able to do that, but I just want to show you the theory, and you can fine-tune the practice. So 2a would be a twice as long. So this would be labeled as vector 2a. So instead of being 3 units long, vector 2a is really going to be 6 units long. And then, of course, I can add that to vector b, which would be here. Add the pip. And then, of course, you could measure it out and find the result. So if you get a, and a multiplier doesn't have to be a whole number, and it, it, can, it can be a fraction. So I could say half of A or 0.2A or, you know, uh, 30A, same thing with B. So you can find these multipliers and, and, and just extend or shorten the length of the vector. Because obviously, if you multiply something even greater than one, it's going to make it bigger. And if you multiply it by something less than one, it's going to make that vector smaller. But again, the direction can't change. You can't change the direction. Now, if I were to get a statement such as this, A minus B. Um, that's a little tricky uh, because it, 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 you're gonna kind of raise an eyebrow when I say this, but you can't. You're not allowed to subtract vectors. But, but I know I just wrote a subtraction. But you're not allowed to subtract vectors. It's not legal. Um, but what you can do is add a negative of a vector. This has to be rewritten. A subtraction of vectors is really the addition of a negative vector. What does that mean? Well, if I read this, A, and I'll draw A, Go my four units, I'm sorry, three units, in the positive x direction. B is four units in the positive y direction. But if you take the negative of that, you're flipping it 
180 degrees. So if you're pointing one way and it's a vector, the negative is going to point the opposite way. That's all it means. So if I do this, minus b is here. And you actually label it as such. That's not vector b, that's vector minus b. And your resultant would be here. Now, I kind of made it a 3, 4, 5 triangle. I know the resultant would be 5. And then you can, of course, measure the direction. Uh, 3, 4, 5 triangle, that angle should be about uh, 57 degrees. Right? No. Uh, 53 degrees. Sorry about that. Anyway. What I want to also show you, though, is this situation will be different than this situation because we're allowed to add vectors in any order, right? We were saying earlier that if we added, added vector a plus b and added vector b plus a, we get the same result. But that gets a little tricky when the negatives are involved. Uh, so I want to point this out. So really this is b plus a minus a. And if I draw this, now what I can do, well, I'll just stick with this. If I do B first, now this, this B here, that's your positive B. That's your regular B, right? That's what we said, that's the regular B. Notice, by the way, with vectors, you know, I can re-copy and paste vectors anywhere I want keeping the same lengths and the same directions. Um, so you're allowed to copy a vector as many times as you want, as long as it's, if it, if it represents the same length and direction or represents the same, same vector. Now I'm gonna take not A, but I'm gonna take minus A. That means I gotta take A and I gotta go this way and label it as such, minus A. So here, again, it's a three, four, five triangle. So here my resultant is here. But note the resultant points this way. So, and I kind of didn't draw it 100% because these arrows should be along the same angle, if you will. Because um, I didn't draw my B really long enough. So let's fix this up real fast. To match. That's why I should have used a ruler, like I said earlier, but I didn't. Here's the wild thing, A minus B, B minus A. The resultant value, it's three, four, five triangle. They are the same value, but note their directions are completely opposite. So they do not produce the same resultant. So adding vectors of A plus B and B plus A get you the same resultant. When you add negative vectors into the mix, then you do not get the same resultant. So be careful. Um, and you can also, and I'm not going to do it here, but you can use multipliers with these negatives. So this is, this is a negative, but you could have negative 3a. And then, of course, a would be three times as long, and you'd go from there. Um, all right. That's all the theory uh, behind vectors that we need to know. Um, and the graphical practice. The next set of videos are going to be about how to analyze all this stuff without using rulers and protractors, but to use uh, geometry and trigonometry, simple trigonometry, to break these problems down and solve them mathematically. That's fine. Get those calculators warmed up and get them in degrees.